What's going on guys? Chris back here with the 1967 Mustang build. Today we're going to be talking about something a little bit different. So I'm not doing anything from a build standpoint, but I am going to talk about how I almost destroyed this brand new motor I put in by simply screwing up an oil change. So I was over on the Vintage Mustang Forum Facebook group and uh, shared this story that happened last night where basically I did an oil change and, and almost destroyed everything. And half the people had seen it before and they said, you're going to make this mistake once in your life and you'll never make it again because it'll be a learning experience. Or the other half of the people were like, I never even realized that was really possible or never even knew to look for that. So something as simple as an oil change, I mean, it's, it's something every guy should know or it's something that everybody should know where you've got, you know, how to change a wheel, how to, you know, fix a flat or whatever and how to change your own oil. It's very basic stuff. But this, I've never, I've never experienced this before. So as you can see, just kind of, you, give you guys an overlay. We've got a, um, I've got my filter down here and I'm actually able to reach this from the top. I also have a pressure gauge right here for my oil because I like to monitor it at the block during break-in periods. And so I started driving this right after the oil change. I made it all the way out of the neighborhood. And then right as I'm pulling away, getting on the car a little bit, I start hearing a leaking noise. And I mean, it is loud. I look behind me and there is a slick of oil going all the way down the road. Brand new oil change, straight down the road. And I mean, it is pumping the oil out. Within 200 feet, I lost about four quarts of oil, which is basically all the oil that was in the engine. So it was definitely, definitely down. So I, I was very lucky though. I saw what was happening. I shut the car off, got it towed home, and then realized the mistake that I had made. And like I said, 50% of the people that I've talked to know this issue and immediately knew what it was. The other 50% never knew it could happen, and I was in that old group. But basically what happened was, and I've got my two oil filters right here. So these are frams. First off, don't use fram if you're actually, you know, doing an oil change for like, you know, 3,000 miles or something. Invest in good oil filters. These are just cheap for break-in periods, but basically I took this off and it looked just like this. What I didn't realize is that this gasket was actually off of this and stuck to the side of the block. It's basically what's called double stacking because then this gasket ended up getting pinched between this one on whenever I change the uh, the filter. Now it'll tighten down, everything will feel good, and like I said, I was able to drive a couple of miles or get to the out edge of my neighborhood without any problems. But then all of a sudden it let go. And here's where the real problem is, is the fact that I was able to get my motor turned off quickly so that way I didn't oil starve it. But for people that you, you know don't necessarily know cars that well, or you know a lot of people have you know you have an idiot light in the car. It's not like an actual gauge. It shows you your oil pressure. If you were to be driving this car or driving any car and you accidentally double stacked the O-rings, what would happen is that idiot light would go on. Somebody might think, oh, I need to get an oil change, or I just had an oil change, or might have been something wrong with it, and continue driving with it. And honestly, with the amount of pressure that's going through there, 60 PSI in most cases, or 50 of, you know, older cars, you, you're going to go through that oil very quickly, and it's going to end up all on the road behind you, and it's not going to be lubricating those internals. So this is just a real quick update just for everybody. Please like and share this video. I think that everybody should know, especially people that change their own oil, just because half the people I talked to didn't know that this could be even be a problem. And quite honestly, it could lead to a lot of damage. So I hope you guys appreciated this and uh, talk to you later.